Hello fellow humans and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, this is a commission painting, so uh, yeah, let's paint. These dogs are, um, are of the client of mine. She asked me to paint them in oil paint, so yeah. Um, she saw my, my wolf and wanted me to paint just like that. So that, that's what I did. <laughs> um, what I did first, but I forgot to film, was um, was put an underlayer in in acrylic paints, so that when I go in with the oil paints, it doesn't take up as much paint as it normally would. This uh, this is a huge cut in in the costs because oil paints is, are expensive, guys, really. So uh, here I'm just putting um, putting a, a, a base layer, I guess. Um, I'm color blocking actually, mostly. I'm, I'm blending a little bit, not much. When you start a painting, the first thing you paint always is the hardest. I I find, at least, because well, you haven't really gotten into your flow yet, and and yeah, it's just it's the hardest. I mean, with me, I'm, uh, I'm not general generalizing because that's the, you shouldn't do that. Right here is uh, I I think is the second day I'm working on it because the first day I I began and I stopped because it it wasn't working my way, and and that can happen, guys. If that happens, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is my second day, and it's going a bit better, but still, it's it's just looking like a little bl brown smudge, you know? A cute brown smudge, though. Um, uh, it appears I'm not really doing anything. I guess uh, I'm, I think I'm I'm making a color off screen. <laughs> Ah, the paintbrush is back, that's good. Doing some shadowing. Honestly, the shadowing is the hardest part, especially with, uh, with animals, because um, when they have fur, it's hard to, um, to, to really make a shadow. You, um, you can make it look really really good really realistic or you can make it look like crap and I think I kind of made it look like crap there <laughs> but I'll fix it I'll go back and I'll fix it another time fluffy tails are really hard to do by the way guys did you know that maybe not on paper but on this uh, it, on this wood block it was really hard because um, my paint wouldn't really flow because the wood grain would get in the way so uh, yeah my uh, my f the, f the fur also didn't really uh, look like it <laughs> it's supposed to <laughs> but I made it work because obviously this was a commission painting and people uh, People are paying money to uh, to to get this painting, so uh, yeah, I had to make it work. <laughs> oh, this part was most fun. The the, the right, right around the the eyes it really made it look better. It's it's starting to get a shape now, at least. I was really worried there for a second that it wouldn't come together, but it worked out all right in the in the end. Odd little tongue that was most fun to do, honestly. Whoa! Look at that transition. <laughs> Another angle. It appears though that, yeah, I wasn't in focus.
Could you believe that I had about five, foot, five, five hours footage of this one little painting? It's like 15 centimeters tall and wide. And I have had five hours of footage. Man. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say anymore, so I'll just um, let the music play a little bit. When I, uh, when I have something to say, I'll come back. This is what I meant earlier with the shadows, the, the brown smudge still looks like a brown smudge and not like sh a shadow under hair, so yeah. But it'll, it'll be alright, it'll, it'll get there, not to worry. This dog is so cute, like honestly, out of the three, I have to be honest, this one is my favorite, he's so fluffy. Oh, this one, this, this, guys, this lip was so hard to get in, like it, it didn't work at all, I, I tried it, really, I tried everything, it, it, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't stay, it's, like if you look at that right now it looks like like crap let's be honest this look like it looks like crap these paws were fun to do though
as you can see I'm, um, I'm using my oil paint really thickly because I find that when you're doing hairs of animal hairs I mean it it's easier to to um, to replicate the hairs when when you're you're laying your paint on really thick instead of laying it thin because when when I'm laying it thin it just smudges all together like yeah like soup This is a moment where the painting is starting to come together, like I, um, I'm doing final touch-ups, oh, I mean not the painting, the, the, the dog. I'm doing final touch-ups, I'm painting the tongue, I um, redid the shape of the eye, I'm putting the whisker, whisker uh, dots I guess, uh, but in, it, it's, it's starting to come together. These are really the the moments. It's the the most important moments, actually. Yeah. So yeah, we have another angle and uh, again, it's not in focus. Guys, I just also really want to say sorry for my English because um, I know it's not good, but English is uh, not my first language. Um, I live in Belgium, so I, uh, I never got, I never even got English lessons. But, uh, I learned it all from TV. So excuse my English and excuse my stutter. Uh, I, I, I know I have a stutter, I can't really do anything about it. I don't usually have it, it's just now that I uh, I have to talk. And because I know it's going on the internet and everyone uh, can hear it and hear me, and yeah, it just makes me a bit nervous, to be really honest. Here I'm going back uh, in for the, the, the lip, I guess, or the jaw is a better word. Yeah, still didn't really work out. Not still not my favorite, but yeah. I do like the the blue on the tongue though. The, the on the picture she sent me the tongue isn't really uh, really pink like the other ones. So I do I, I admit I had a bit 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 of trouble there. Alright, next dog. As you can see here, I'm, I'm still color blo blocking. I'm going in with quite thick paint again. You've probably seen me do this uh, throughout the whole video, but I just want to address it. When I um, when I paint realistically, I uh, find it quite important to put like blues and pinks and as other colors really as shadows be because the world isn't made up of just brown and white. Um, if if you first look at the at at the picture or at the painting then yeah you see brown and white and pink and maybe red for the tones 
but when you look closer you see shadows and and highlights in, in all different kind of kinds of colors see here I'm doing highlights in, in blue because well that's where the Sun was uh, shining and underneath you can see right here uh, pinks and the ear I did some purple some dark purple uh, magenta I think it's called Again, the last dog is also turning out to be pretty cute. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really should put a note in the, the girl's package um, together with the painting. And just to say that the dogs are cute because, I mean, look at the... the Oh yes, and here I'm doing the lavender. Um, the the picture was of the, the the dogs in the lavender field, and I I I asked if she she wanted me to do that because uh, the left side was looking a bit sad and empty, and uh, she said yes, and that that she was thinking uh, she was thinking exactly the same, so. Let's put some some lavender in. This really um, pulls the painting together. It's really cute, and this was really fun to do. Just some splotches, and you you immediately know what what I meant to paint. And this is a perfect example when I say that um, art is relative. Like you. Everyone has a different view on what art is, but in reality, art is just what you want it to be. You, you could look at a plate of food, and if that's art for you, then that's art. This is what art is for me, and I, I like it. Because when, when you're painting, you can just put some splotches in, and somehow we all know what it's supposed to be. And I think I think that's a little bit what makes art magical, in my opinion, isn't it? Comment below what you think art is and what you would like art to be. Right now I'm just doing some touch-ups. What um, just final, final details. Putting some highlights in, in the eyes. This part is what um, is is my, the client's request because I, I showed her a picture of a painting and asked her if she liked it or if she wanted me to change anything and she said, well, yeah. I think the eyes are a bit small, so I fixed that. And here's a here's the overview, close up. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. DM me. Um, 
yeah also tell me what you what you painted recently and how long it took you this one took me about five to six hours here it is the finished painting don't forget to like subscribe and comment these are my socials feel free to uh, visit and I'll see you next time bye bye